Hi and welcome back. This is a quick video hopefully for section 2.1 of my pre-calc class when we're dealing with some basic properties of quadratics. So the first thing I have up here is a standard form of a quadratic for ax squared plus bx plus c. And if I'm writing out just a quadratic, I'm sure you remember from Algebra 2, if I've got something like uh, f of x is equal to 2x squared plus 5x minus 10, there's your a there's your B and there's your C right there so just identifying the parts and one thing we can do here is recognizing the vertex or the, at least the X coordinate of the vertex with this formula of negative B over 2A so I got a couple examples right here uh, for finding the vertex so we know it's negative B over 2A so right there we know A is 1 B is 4 and C is 4 so if I know that X is equal to negative B, so negative B, so I got negative 4 over 2 times A, and since there was no number there, we know that's a coefficient of 1, and we wind up with negative 4 over 2, which gives us a negative 2 for our x coordinate of the vertex. To find the y value for it, we have to take the negative 2, which is our x value, and plug it into the original there. So if we find f of negative 2, we know we're going to have a negative 2 squared plus 4 times negative 2 and add 4 which will give us 4 and then minus 8 and plus 4 so this one actually works out that we're going to have a y value of 0 so we'll know that the vertex for this quadratic is at negative 2 0 real quick here to find the x uh, part for the vertex will go negative or the opposite of B negative B so that's going to be 8 over 2 times negative 2 which will give us 8 divided by negative 4 which will give us negative 2 here coincidentally again uh, for that and again if we wanted to we can find the Y value by plugging it back in to get the original or get the Y value for the vertex so that's how you find the vertex uh, when we're in standard form, one of the things that we also work on is having a quadratic in HK form. Uh, HK form is nice for graphing because the vertex is right there for you. The vertex comes from the H that's in this and the K that's on the outside and a couple other props, properties that axis of symmetry which is a dotted line that goes through it x equals h and again h comes right from the equation here which way does the parabola open does the parabola open up or does the parabola open down and that comes from the number that's right in front here if it's a positive number the parabola opens up if it's a negative number the parabola opens down so taking a quick look right here we can see that the vertex is h so it's minus H so that minus is right there so we're just gonna have a 3 and then the number that's on the outside is 5 a lot of people like to think of the opposite if they see a negative 3 and they know it's positive 3 that's one way you can think about it as well looking at the leading coefficient that's in front we see a negative it's technically a negative 1 therefore we know that it opens down if I was to do a very quick graph uh, not real specific but I know that I can go to 3, 5, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, and I draw my vertex, and then I also know that it opens down, so therefore I'm going to draw this so it opens down. Again, not real specific because I don't know what the x-intercepts are, and I could find those, but just right now, quick graph. And then my axis of symmetry, where I've got x equals h, I know my axis of symmetry x equals and my h value was 3 and we always draw these with a dotted or a dashed line that that goes through it and I'll put it up here as a red line that's there's x equals 3 a vertical line right there so there's your axis of symmetry parabola that opens down with a vertex at 3 5 so let's try a couple more of these let's see what we got here here's example number two again real quick graph here my vertex I should know 
is going to be, now see, a plus 1. So plus 1 is the same as x minus a negative 1. So I know that I'm going to have a negative 1 and negative 4 for my vertex. And my axis of symmetry is going to be x equals negative 1. And I know that it opens up because my leading coefficient is positive. There's no number in front. So I can just go quickly to negative 1, negative 4. So negative 1, 1, 2, 3, 4 down there. And I know that my parabola opens up. And I know I have an axis of symmetry that's going right through that at x equals negative 1. All right, so now the question becomes, what happens if it's not in HK form? When it's not in HK form, what we have to do is complete the square. And by doing that, that helps us put it in HK form. So to complete the square, that is taking the middle term, B, dividing it by 2, and squaring it. So let's take a look how we do this. I've got x squared plus 6x, and I'm going to leave a blank, and I'm going to put the plus 2 here. Now, if I need to complete the square, I take 6 divided by 2, which is 3. 3 squared is 9. Now, I can't just add 9 into an equation. I've got to balance it off. And since I'm on one side of the equal sign, I've got to add 9, and then I've got to subtract 9. This way, I don't change the value of what's in there. So now, what becomes in this part of the parentheses, I can FOIL factor that. And I know that that's a perfect square of x plus 3. If you're not real good at the FOIL factoring, the middle term divided by 2 is always your answer right here. And then 2 and negative 9 gives me my negative 7. Therefore, I know now that my vertex is negative 3, negative 7. I know that my leading coefficient here was positive, so it opens up. And my axis of symmetry is x equals negative 3. Oh, sorry about that. So I'll erase that right there. And again, I know that I got negative 3 there. So I can go negative 3, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. Draw my vertex. It opens up. Axis of symmetry going right down through the middle. Try another one. Not in HK form. And notice again here, we've got a negative that's in front there. So for what we need to do with this, I'm going to go with a negative 2x squared minus 8x, leave a blank, and plus 7. So now, one thing you have to do to complete the square, whenever there's a coefficient in front of the x squared, you have to take that out first. So I'm going to factor out a negative 2. And if I factor out a negative 2, I get x squared plus 4x. I'll leave the blank and plus 7. Now, to complete the square, middle term divided by 2 and square it, so that's plus 4. Now, normally we put a minus 4 over here, but we have to take into consideration what we took out right here. So, I need to add on to this a negative 4 times that negative 2. So, that gives me an 8 right here. So, then I'm going to have, then when it's all said and done, negative 2, this foils down to x plus 2 squared, and then 7, negative 4 times negative 2, that's 8, so that gives me a 15 on the outside there, so this is my hk form, so I know that my vertex is going to be at negative 2, 15, it's going to open down, because I have a negative as a leading coefficient, and my axis of symmetry is at x equals negative 2. So if I actually scale this y values by 5s, and I keep the x's by 1s, 
negative 2 and then 5, 10, 15. And then I know I open down and my axis of symmetry goes right down the middle right there. There's my parabola. So hopefully that helps uh, with section 2.1 with the quadratics.